What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Madden 15 Mythbusters. My name is Clickwid, and I'm going to be your host today. On today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at some of the most interesting myths that I have seen regarding offensive lineman attributes. This is something that I personally don't know the answer to coming into it, and it's something that I want to really prove one way or another whether or not we're looking at the important attributes or whether we're looking at ones that are not relevant whatsoever. So the myth currently goes as follows. Run block strength, run block footwork, pass block strength, and pass block footwork do not matter. That's what people are saying. They say what matters is run block and pass block, which are separate attributes. So in order to prove this, we are gonna be doing a series of tests. I'm going to go in and edit some players in just the standard roster mode, and then we're gonna take it into practice and see exactly how things function. So with that being said, guys, let's get into the gameplay footage so we can start to decide whether or not this myth about pass block strength and all those type of attributes actually not meaning anything is actually true or not. So let's get into it. First things first, we need to go in and actually edit the rosters. And the way that we do this, we go to the Customize tab within the Madden 15 menu. And we're actually going to click on specifically manage rosters. So you go to manage players, then you're going to go and find the team that you want to edit. Now, I started off by editing the Dallas Cowboys, my favorite team. I took and changed all of their attributes down to so that the run block and pass block attributes were not at all there. So what you see when you go into this and we're going to go over to it and take a look at it. The ratings here, pass blocking and run blocking, are both at zero. And what I did then was I went down and actually edited the other attributes, the run block strength, the run block footwork, pass block strength, and pass block footwork, all the way up to 99. And I did this for every one of the offensive linemen. So let's go in and see how they function against the Detroit Lions defensive front. We're going to do this. We're going to run the same plays, and we're going to run basically the same type of offense here. Uh, we're not going to actually run any real plays. I'm just going to let the computer do what they do once I hike the ball. And what we're going to get is uh, the offensive line engaging against a standard uh four player front with everybody else dropping into a zone and how we do that is by putting them into a cover two zone and uh, my receivers are going to be running a four verticals passing route so that we can uh, make sure that no one is really biting on anything about the you know the players actually blocking or anything like that they're all going to be going out for pass routes so let's see how this functions here in reality when we don't have run block or pass block whatsoever high and it's basically a jailbreak blitz at Tony Romo. Yikes. All right, let's try it again here. Maybe it was just a fluke, right? Maybe it was just a fluke. I don't know. All right, second play, and it's basically another jailbreak blitz. So uh, this is not looking very good right now for myself and others who have been saying that run block strength and run block footwork, pass block strength, pass block footwork, all that stuff matters. So this is just in the passing formations, and I will eventually get to doing the running formations as well, just so that you guys can kind of get a, a, a sense of what changes and what doesn't. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out as well at the beginning that I forgot to mention, when, I, when you saw me editing the players, when I changed their run block and pass block attributes, the, that specific attribute down to zeros, it actually made those offensive linemen 12 overall. And that was a pretty big red flag, in my opinion. Uh, and now you're going to see me running the ball here. This is just a standard run up the middle, basically. And look how quickly the defensive line is able to get in there. They're just shedding those blocks and just crushing every time. Now, there might be a couple plays here and there. And I'm going to switch this to go to the right side here. Might be a couple plays here and there where they actually don't get through. And you can see there that I was still able to get uh, a decent gain. But for the most part, you're seeing, watch how the defensive line, just individually, watch each player of the defensive line, watch how they manhandle the guy in front of them. It's happening every single time. So basically, we're looking at this here and we're seeing that the run block strength, run block footwork, and all of those attributes are pretty much meaningless. And I'm kind of surprised by that because, uh, to be honest with you, I did not expect that. I expected that I would be proven right by doing this, and uh, and I'm so far I haven't been. So let's try the opposite. Let's go in and change the pass blocking and run blocking attributes, crank those babies up to 99s, and then we'll do the opposite of pulling down the uh, run block strength, run block footwork, pass block strength, and pass block 
uh, footwork down to zeros. And again, I'm not changing any of the other attributes here, so all their impact block, all of their just standard strength and those type of things are remaining the same. Uh, nothing is changing on those. So what you're gonna see here, uh, again, I'm changing all of them down. And what happened when I did that was that I started to see that their overall ratings were boosting. So even though I was dropping these run block strength, run block footworks, and all of those type of things down to zeros, it was still boosting their overall number, like their, their overall attribute, really, really high. Like all of these guys, all of the offensive linemen were in the high 90s. I think that Tyron Smith was a 99, if I remember correctly. Um, but, you know, still other things go into the overall attribute than just run block and pass blocking. So, you know, like their, uh, their strength and their acceleration and those type of things. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of get a quick example. Um, and I ended up changing it for all of the guys, by the way. That was uh, just an example. So let's see how it came out here. Now that we moved it up, we're going to run a four verticals pattern here again. And look how much time we have in the pocket. Romo ends up shedding a block there, but or uh, shedding a tackle. But you can see there how much time that Romo had in the pocket. Let's try it again here because, again, that could have just been a fluke. And nope, he has all day once again. Again, this is that pass blocking attribute being ranked really, really high. Very, very important. And now we're starting to really get an idea here that these are the attributes that matter. And again, I've been telling people the opposite for a good amount of time now. I've been very, very convinced that what matters is those strength and footwork attributes. So I need to own up to this. I need to admit that I was wrong, that, uh, like I said, the attributes that do matter are just your pass blocking and your run blocking. I don't know how that happened. Um, I don't understand why Madden decided to do that, but you know, it is what it is. You kind of have to uh, take it for what it's worth. And um, you know, you have to take it at face value because this is working across the board. It's working on passing, it's working on running, it's not just working for one play, um, it's working in practice mode, and it's, it's going to be the same way regardless of what game mode that you're in. So this also does take into account MUT. So if you're playing ultimate team and you see things like your run block passing, uh, run block attribute, your pass blocking attribute being ranked really high, those are the players that you want. So that's really kind of what we wanted to do here is really determine what matters and what doesn't and I, I really think that this does a good job of explaining what really matters and what doesn't. So I hope that you guys understood this. Uh, I hope this makes sense to you. If you have any questions, of course, I would be glad to answer them in the comment section below. Um, I tried to do this with just whatever came to mind to me for how we could explain this and how we could for sure determine what matters and what doesn't. And like I said, I really think that this does a pretty good job of explaining it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay footage here. So now that we've gone through our experiment, we can solidly say that this myth is confirmed. Run block strength, run block footwork, pass block strength, pass block footwork are completely irrelevant. What matters is pass blocking and run blocking. Thank you to everybody who left that in the comments section. Thank you to the person who gave me the idea for doing this as a video as well. I think this is gonna help a lot of people, so I do appreciate all the help uh, on that stuff. And guys, what this basically means for me on my channel is that I'm going to have to go back and do the budget series again for the offensive linemen. I might push that out just a little bit just to make sure that we're mixing it up a little bit. I don't wanna just do it back to back or anything like that. But keep in mind, guys, that the, the attributes that I was going off of for the, the budget series that I released this past week uh, and the week before, those attributes are not correct. I do have to admit it. I do have to admit that those are incorrect, and you do need to take a look at pass blocking and run blocking with these players. Don't take into account run block strength, run block footwork, any of that crap. Doesn't matter. Thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you press that like button below. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. Uh, call me a jackass, whatever you want. I don't know. It was, not, it was an honest uh, a mistake on my part. I hope this video really does answer the questions that you guys might have regarding this whole situation of offensive lineman attributes. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.